Agricultural commodity prices went on a wild ride in 2022. They were already on the rise because of supply chain disruptions due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But when Russia invaded Ukraine in late February, prices spiked and they stayed high for months. When the invasion happened, financial investors piled into commodity futures markets in large numbers, seeking to capitalize on that uncertainty. Those moments of uncertainty are moments that speculators thrive on. Deregulation over the past uh, several decades that have, has enabled this large scale speculation to take place, to rush into markets in moments of uncertainty and make huge profits while driving up food prices that affect millions and millions of people. The problem arises when there's too many speculators in the market. The speculators, because they're simply profiting, if there's too many of them in the market, they can actually distort what happens to market prices in the commodity exchanges. So when the speculators start to outnumber the producers and the end users, we can see a real problem where they can corner markets and drive up prices. And this is really problematic. Already, the poorest people in low-income countries spend around 50 to 80% of their income on food. So we really have to keep in mind that financial speculation that might be taking place in Chicago and on financial markets really matters for people directly affected by those rising prices. Stricter regulations are desperately needed. So how do we do this? One way to do that would be to put tighter limits on how many futures contracts speculators can actually own at any one time. That would basically prevent them from overwhelming the markets with, with speculative trades. And a second thing we can do is to improve transparency uh, in these markets by having more public reporting of who is exactly trading. And that would provide pressure on these actors because it would expose the investors who are basically profiting from hunger. Thank you.